we want to do another tutorial on reason um this time it's about how to make bass lines i did want to know how to make a filtered bass line by filtering the original sample this one is how to make an actual bass line um basically playing it out on the keyboard and giving you a couple tips um i know a lot of people who uh are really really skilled samplers and can make really nice beats and uh just can't get a bass line down they always are either filtering one or just leaving one out or you know uh eqing their samples up so it doesn't really need one but um you know you don't have to be musical to make a sample beat in terms of you know a lot of music theory but if you can't play out a bass line then you're really holding yourself back but i'm going to give you a couple tips and tricks to make it real easy um what I notice with a lot of people who make beats with samples in them when they first start out, they'll put in a bass line way off pitch or just even slightly off pitch, which, you know, can kill it even more than when it's way off pitch. But either way, it's not going to sound right. So, um, I made this beat a couple days ago and I just put a filtered bass line. If you guys want to know how to make a filtered bass line, um, check out my other tutorials, uh, just YouTube go search thirdstop.com low in theory and you'll get it so here's the beat and that's my filtered baseline which uh No, it's just a bit too muddy. I might be able to turn that into something, but um, you know, it's just a little too muddy for me. But plus, I might as well just make one. So I mean, with everything together, it sounds fine. So, anyways, what I normally do, I'm gonna mute the bass line, and it's just uh, use like the the OG like NX uh, one nine digital sampler with just a piano sound. And what I do is I start at C like just C on the keyboard and then start playing. And this kind of start tweaking it. So I can tell that's real sharp. So I'm going to see what happens if I put this all the way down. So it's still sharp. And then I like to play all my stuff off C. And so instead of moving my fingers down the keyboard, I'd rather have... Um, you know, just adjust it so, you know, adjust reason, you know, make it easier on myself and just make it work and see. So I'm going to put this up, uh, uh, semi, or put it up, put it down one semitone, but since I'm at the bottom of the octave, I got to put it down. So just move the semitones till the C's sort of in pitch. <laughs> So now we're getting closer. Now we get into the fine pitching. I don't think I'm going to have to go down. Yeah, because at that point it's sort of flat. So fine pitch it now. that's about close enough I mean I could probably get closer but for the sake of time so basically instead of trying to move my hands around the keyboard and finding what key it's in I'm just gonna make it in C and uh, some keyboards can do it like this keyboard can do it too just by uh, I have an Axum 90 or Axum 49 if you just hit the transpose button with both the sides you can just start transposing it and then just fine pitch it but uh, 
you know, either way it works. This way it works fine for me. So now I'm going to open up the uh, subtractor analyze or analogs, whatever. Subtractor polyphonic synthesizer. So I'm not up on these names. Um, and let's see. Can't remember what bass patch I like. I think it's this one, the street space. So I'm gonna start with that. So now what I'm gonna do is take my uh, semitones and my fine pitch and just copy them. So this is at 11, and it'll be different when you're doing it, obviously. Um, and the fine pitch is at 27. So just copy your settings over. So now. And then I just like to go back to the piano and make sure everything works. And then, um, just because you start on C, that doesn't mean you're going to have your first note on C sometimes. You can sometimes, like in this case. I guess it might work. But if you want a little deeper, you can just sort of, I forget what I, they call these. I took the theory on this, but you just, it's a broken chord. So you can just take the other notes of the chord and pretty much if you want it deeper. So just take the, take the notes you can find that work and just, but what's nice when you set it on C is that you only have to deal with the white keys. I don't know. I'm not a piano player. I only fuck with the white keys. So I'm just messing around right now. I'm not really trying to make the bass line for this song. I might just try to make a loop real quick. We'll see how it goes. Um, just for fun. And that's not a bass line I would use. I think I need to go back and tweak more. Plus, my timing was off. But uh, I don't want to be wasting your time. I just wanted to show the basic process. You know, if you go to the piano, get it to where it sounds right on the piano. You know, just... <laughs> And the other thing that's good about that is once you have that, you can copy these things over and over. Any instrument, you want to throw some strings, some piano, whatever you want on over your sample. You already got the pitch right. You don't have to deal with uh, memorizing the keys, you know, in terms of, you know, or find out what key you're in and figuring it out. You don't got to be that deep into the, the music part. You can just kind of play your stuff. So anyways... Hope you find that helpful. Obviously, I didn't really get you a full bass line or anything that sounded great, but uh, the technique should work. Try it out. See for yourself. And uh, you also start getting an ear for pitch, which is always a good thing. So, all right.